I had a bit of trouble with, I think, my old two sensor. The bike's been idling rough when I've been going through water and stuff. So I think it's the old two sensor there. So I've got a O2 sensor delete. Gonna plug into the bike and see if that eliminates it. I think it's the O2 sensor playing up, but I'm not sure. But we'll see this, see if this works, and I will let you know. So this goes on to if you follow the sensor wires back from there, comes up the back into there and it's into a little black box there. My wiring's a bit different because I pulled all the panels out to get to the plugs. So that's, if you follow it back, it goes into there. So this will just go into there and delete the O2 sensor so it runs off the ECU instead. So I will put this on now and then start the bike up after. Just going to take the plastic panel off here in the little cover there to get to it. And that's about it. Just unclips there and this plugs back in so I'll just plug that back in now and start the bike up and see what it's any difference the O2 sensor is capped off now with the uh, Redline Superbike O2 center sensor I'm gonna leave this in in place this goes to the O2 sensor on the exhaust. Just going to tape the terminals up and zip tie it to the frame so it stays there. So that's all it is, a little plug there. So this will be the first time I will fire the bike up. It's cold. Just plug that in. So we'll have a go now. So this is from a cold start. Probably have to run the bike though, but I'm just going to see what it's like now. So this is a bit of a cold start run. We'll see if it's a CO2 sensor playing up or something else. But I think it's the O2 sensor. So I'll leave it warm up. As you can see the revs. The revs are flickering. But I don't know if the ECU's got to uh, acclimatize it to itself yet so I'll leave it warm up then give it a bit of a rev then I'll take it for a ride on the road and see if if there's any difference go to eliminators.com but I did buy this off uh, Redline Superbikes so that's what you get and that goes in there I'm gonna uh, Tape the end of this up so no shit goes in there and zip tie it on and tidy them up and then take it for a spin and see what it's like.
roads kind of too fast and they're not leased. 